Okay, here I have the here I have the Wacom Bamboo, the one I'm going to show you. This is the Wacom Bamboo Pen or CTL460 to be precise. Okay, I'm just going to show it to you really close. Okay, is the CTL460 Bamboo Pen? Okay. A great tablet from Wacom. I really love it. If you haven't used tablet before, <clears throat> I strongly recommend giving uh, giving it a chance and trying it out. It comes with a pen, so use the pen on it on the surface on the tablet. And whichever tablet you choose, it's going to be so much better than any mouse you have ever used. Wacom Bamboo is the entry level series of tablets from Wacom, and they keep changing all the time. Wacom released the new tablets. They have buttons here on the side as well. This one doesn't have the buttons. This is with the previous model. Pens also have buttons. So there are two buttons here that serve as a left click and right click, but obviously you can customize it. Okay. Now the first thing you do is you need to download the drivers from the Wacom website. So what you do is you go to your web browser. I'm just going to show you quickly here on my computer. So if you open your web browser and go to Wacom website, you can download the drivers here from the Wacom website. Okay. So I'm here on the Wacom website. I've actually searched for the drivers. Okay. So what I'm going to choose here is I'm going to choose English first as the language. And then I'm looking for the tablet in this case. This is the Bamboo Pen CTL 460, that's the one. And then you open the system, so I'll choose Windows 7. Okay. You may have an actual disk with the tablet, so you may not need to download it. Okay. Depends on the on how you get it. And then what you do is you just download it and start using it. Once you install the driver, you can start using the tablet and it's going to... I'm going to quickly show you how it moves with your movements. So here's my screen. I'm going to move the pen. And as I press, place the pen in the top left corner of the screen on the actual tablet, the pointer moves to the top left screen. What many people will get quite difficult about at the beginning what they start working with is they try to use like a mouse, so they start scrolling. So now I'm going to move the cursor to the bottom right corner of the screen and normally with the mouse you will just start scrolling. What you do with the pen and the tablet is you lift your pen and you place it in the bottom right corner of the tablet surface. It's going to move it up a bit so you can see it, it's here. You don't scroll, then you can move it here, for example, right? We've got a right click, okay, and the actual click, so the left click. You can also customize with some of the Wacom tablets. So, for example, the buttons that come on the new Wacom tablets can be customized to launch applications. So, for example, you could launch Photoshop with a click of a button on the actual tablet. Also, if you look in here on the list of downloads, we got some downloads for Windows and for a Mac. There are no downloads here for Linux because Wacom Tablet is supported on Linux by default. If I just quickly jump to Linux, just a different workspace, okay, it works out of the box on Linux. Okay, this is Linux. See, I've got some applications here, right? I'm running Windows virtually. So it works on Linux straight away, out of the box, without downloading and installing any software. And that's how you get started. Obviously, plug in your tablet into, Wacom tablet into USB port. And with the new Wacom Bamboo, you can also, you've got a holder for the pen, so you can keep the pen here. So it's harder to lose it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Molarczyk from saitraining.co.uk.
Pinky Forge.